I would define Stuart Home as a school that cares for you, um, that makes you feel important and a school that is going to be a support network for you forever. Friendship, sisterhood and a lifetime of memories is how I would sum up Stuart Home Boarding. At the Processions of the Lanterns, I got to do a reflection on the Gospel, um, and the Gospel was uh, You Are the Light of the World, which is one of the most beautiful Gospels in my opinion. Um, so I basically just spoke about how girls in boarding were the light of my world, um, in ways in which they shared their light with me. Um, I was very tearful, <laughs> not going to lie, it was very reflective. I just have so much love for boarding and so much love for all the girls at boarding. Yeah, so I just kind of spoke about how I'm a product of those girls. Um, they have shaped who I am and they've all shared their light with me in one way or another, even if they are unaware of it. As I leave Stuart home, I will be leaving with a little piece of all of them. I think what makes it a sisterhood is, you know, I've lived with these girls for three years. Some of them have lived with each other for six years. So it does become more than just a friendship. Um, you know, you can tell them everything. They're always there to support you. You can always rely on them. Um, you know, and you make so many special memories that you wouldn't make anywhere outside of boarding because it's just such a unique environment. Um, and I know I can depend on these girls for the rest of my life. Like I know I can call them 10 years from now and they would come running to me and we'd hug and we'd pick up right where we left off. So it's just stuff like that that makes it really special. The teachers that were really defining for me were in particular Mr Hegarty who's my ancient history teacher and Miss Harkin who's my drama teacher um, and that's just because they're two subjects I'm extremely passionate about and I was always encouraged to do my best and to meet the standard that I set for myself um, which was really lovely and I was never you know scared that I wasn't going to do well or felt that I had to meet a certain standard it was just they always wanted what was best for me and for me to make, meet my own standards that I have with my abilities. Before I came to this school, I wasn't really interested in history and I had no interest in pursuing it. Mr Hegarty's made it one of my favourite subjects and one of my favourite classes to go to. My style of teaching is to try to engage the girls first. It's the most important thing. I love history myself, that's why I became a teacher. And so my aim is to try to help the girls to find their passion and, and to see that history is relevant to everybody and to see how it informs their own lives and helps them you know, with the big questions in life and uh, to make sense of the world around them and to be critical. I figure that if we can get our students to, you know, to develop a love of the subject, then all that achievement and success comes afterwards. Miss Harkin's one of those teachers who just becomes your friend. Um, she doesn't even mean to, she's just such a beautiful spirit and soul and cares so much about you. But also as a teacher, she always pushes us to do our best. And something I love about Miss Harkin is she doesn't just come up with a play or anything like that and then directs us. She always hands it over to us, um, makes us come up with our own material, which I think is really special and really important because it's not just us you know, regurgitating her skills, it's actually her teaching us how to become our own drama students and how to leave our own mark on our work and our art. And I think that's something that's very different about other schools. It's not just us being a reflection of her, it's her encouraging us to find our own vision in drama and to become the best performing art students we can be. I would say my teaching style is very collaborative, so I'm learning alongside my students. Everyone's equal in my classroom. And I think I get the best out of my students because I challenge them to be the best. Um, Stuart Home Girls always set the bar really high in my classroom, so they don't just meet my expectations, they jump over it. So it's kind of a common thing, we're always challenging each other. So the WISE Wellness Program was uh, a very fundamental part of my Stuart Home experience. Um, coming from a school that didn't have a wellness program, it was just, I felt so cared for, uh, you know, more than just a number or an enrolment. It actually, as if the school did care about my wellbeing and wanted me to get through school in a happy and positive manner. Um, and I think the fact that we have two lessons every fortnight completely dedicated to wellness is just speaks volumes about how much the school cares about your well-being and how it is so much more than just performing academically. It really is shaping you as a whole person and making sure you do feel cared for and supportive and that you are in a good place to leave Stuart home, able to look after yourself and with skills that are going to help you in the real world.
I've had so many defining moments at Stuart Home, from my teachers to my friends to the sisters I have made here, and I can't wait to see what my future holds.